Oh, the joys of being self-employed. I feel like absolute death warmed up today. I'm full of cold. So of course, being a bloke, it's the end of the world. <laughs> I did ask my boss if I could have the day off and feel sorry for myself. Uh, and I said, get your ass out of bed and get something done. So it's four o'clock in the morning and we're off over to Pontefract for the Fitzwilliam boot sale. And the aim today is to see if we can spend all the money that I made at the boot sale selling at the weekend. See if we can get some lovely, juicy, good quality stock. I'm going to stop at the garage for a coffee and to see if they've got a big bucket of motivation for me. <laughs> I'm, I, I promise I'm going to stop feeling sorry for myself now. Let's get on with the rest of the video. Mornings are definitely getting lighter, which is a good thing. On the hunt for some serious bargains today. Oh, this doesn't bode well. Trainer guy's not here. Morning. Could I get a look at your jacket, please? Yeah, yeah. Crack it, cheers. What have you got on it? How much is it? Ten. It is 100% leather. Yeah. Can you see on the um, label? Yeah. Yes, yeah, in it. Yeah. yeah. Just don't wear it anymore. No, sure. fair enough. It's been, how long has it been at your job? It's like, yeah. It's taking up space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit steep in here. Thank you very much. Morning, mate. How much have you got on your pump handles? Uh, Boddington's is 20 and the other one's 15. Yeah. Boddington's is a, a bit there, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. It's supposed to be anyway. Yeah. Are they solid or hollow? You won't go. It's proper jobs, haven't they? Oh, ah, ah, definitely. Let's see this, that's 50 odd on eBay. Yeah, Boddington's yeah. Boddington's one, yeah. Well, you'll see now, won't you? It's mini DV. Yeah. Is it working, do you know? Um, bed piece dead when I was using that time was working, but it's totally you no know, charging. Yeah, the yeah, is yeah. Two batteries. Charger is okay. Yeah. But bed is very weak. Just one point. Yeah. yeah. I try to. <laughs> is the mains lead with it as well, though? Yeah. Or is it just a charger? This is charger. Yeah. It's a multi-charger. Can you run it off the mains though? I off don't know, power? that's... Uh, does it have that? Yeah. No, I see out. Is, uh, it, is this yours, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe behind the battery. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, OK. No, I, I think that one is a different thing, like this, you know, you put in the plug yeah. using indoor studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is different thing. You can get it, but I don't know. It's something like that with the cable. Yeah. The small one. There would be an eyepiece as well, wouldn't there? The, the, the rubber. Yeah. yeah. Interesting bit of stuff. It's surprising that uh, something so big now nowadays is no, about that big, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> GoPro. Yeah. It's a nine one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have eight one now. I did many documentaries on this one. Yeah. Yes, I told my friend. Now I want to. Back in the day, that was proper high tech. <laughs> yeah, it was. You know, it you. was. Los Angeles. Look. No, oh, I'm good. Was thank you. you. Look at that. Yeah. It was beautiful work with that. Absolutely, you know, yeah, yeah. That time. That's a workout carrying that around yeah, though, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, we're big muscles. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. Well, that's 
tw uh, 20 minutes. 20 on court, 10 on uh, jumper. Oh, yeah. Do 15 on it? Yeah, yeah I will be. Yeah. Not picturing you. Cheers, Cheers man. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, you don't give me a chance to get them out. Yeah, they're top and charts, yeah. Yeah, they're top and charts. How about those, Paul? Uh, what upgrade, mate? Always. They make it a round tenner with these. What did I say for others? Uh, we're up to yeah, six, yeah, six yeah. quid so far, yeah. Keeps it simple, doesn't it? I'll come back again in a bit and press you and you're a bit more set up. I have a load more trainers and to them rail to fill up, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll Sound come back in a bit. Cheers, pal. Morning, boss. How are you doing? Hello. Well, that's what you call a lamp, isn't it? It is a lamp, is that? How much have you got on it? Well, I will ask you 20 quid. It's your, it's your gym. Right. A lot of people don't know that. Okay. But if you took the bulb out and put another ring on, yeah. that would hold the lamp. Yeah, yeah. Do you know it, what I mean? But it works. And I didn't want to dismantle it. Of course, because yeah, Because yeah. it's so, solid, it's heavy. Is the ring missing then? No, it's, you know when you take the bulb out, you see there, don't you? Yeah, yeah. If I took the bulb out, right, yeah. that just comes off. Right, okay. And it has a ring that goes on here. Yeah. Which tightens that down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see what I mean? That's all that's missing. But what it would have been, it would have been a plastic one. But, as you know, the wobble, don't they? Yeah. It's a bit quick scratch. But I've had, the, I've had that in my shed over the year. Yeah. Let's have a look. And I've been looking for to get one with the ring. Yeah, yeah. To tie it up. Now I've got two lamps here. It's actually the on there, on. you know. Pardon? The ring is actually on there. Yeah, but it needs to be tightened yeah. up when the shade's on. Yeah. So if you took that, if, if you take it off now. Yeah, yeah. Right. Will you go ten on it? I can't go ten. Still all that. Right. Well, me is halfway at fifteen. I do fifteen. Fifteen. I'll tell you what, what? I'll, I'll leave it on then because the, 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 I'm going to be taking, um, uh, what's that? That'll end up in bin anyway, to be honest. What was that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can keep it, sell it if you want. Oh, fair enough, I'll just yeah. leave it here. There you go, mate. Don't you want the bulb? No, I'm good. I've got, I've got bulbs up the bloody yin yang. <laughs> Ten bob for that yogurt. <laughs> Cheers, my mate. Okay, mate, enjoy. Trying it, thinking, oh, it's better, but like you say, I'm not sure. Yeah, but if it's not for you, it's not for you, it's not for you. Yeah. Sorry, I made me jump that. <laughs> Didn't you expect it to work? <laughs> oh, it definitely works. How much have you got on it? Uh, 20 quid. Would you get to 15? No, I've only just come to repair it. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. you got to ask, didn't you? Yeah, of course. Hold on, Matt, thank you. Oh, tell love. Cheers. That one has been a long time. Yeah, before. yeah. Nylon. Never heard of that one before. That one. You have something in the back, I don't know, it's for batteries or for something, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I wouldn't keep for myself, but my wife won't let me. <laughs> it's not fair, is it? 
I have all the collection of the rings, yeah? Yeah. Big ones, everything. I have about maybe a grand there, yeah? Yeah. And it's very pissed off to me when I put something outside. Like, no more, no more. <laughs> I try to put that one, yeah? And you find that until put this back in the van. Yeah. Alright. They, they, they take all your fun away, don't they? He's the boss. You want to be a happy life? Yeah. You need to yeah. sometimes. Absolutely, yeah. Just for a bit of peace and quiet. Tempted, but another time, maybe. Thank you, my friend. Morning. Morning. How much is your radio? It's 10. Broken end. Um, yeah. gone into a home. It's just missing the end, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah. Would you go to seven on it? No, sorry. Yeah, no worries. I'll do eight. Yeah, go on. It's not a million miles away, that is it? <laughs> Got some change for you as well. It's normally a premium at this time of day, isn't it? Well, I'm normally pretty good, but I didn't have as much as I thought. Thank you. Thank you. All else. Cheers. Have a good day. That's a lump of a thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what have you got on it? Brand new battery and everything. Batteries are 50 odd pounds. Yeah, bloody hell. Quality, quality. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you only buy one of them, didn't you? What have you got on your plane, boss? Yeah, eight quid. Bro. Eight quid. Nice. Nice. Would you get to five? I go to six. How's that? Sounds fair to me. I'll not grumble at that. Right, have you any more? Yeah. Uh, or is that a good question? Yeah, I have got a couple more somewhere. You come back in about ten minutes. Yeah. I'll do it. You got plenty of time, haven't you? Oh yeah, no rush today. I'm filming this motor. Yeah, I, I've vlogged. Am I, for... am I on camera then this morning? Uh, yeah, yeah. Am I? yeah <laughs> I, I've vlogged for YouTube. Do you, do you watch YouTube? Yeah, yeah. ABL reselling. Yeah, I've seen so, it. All oh, right, okay, yeah. Today's yeah. video will be a week on Saturday. So, I, I'd be good anyway. All right. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. I was expecting to see bloody trainer guy here today. He's not showing up, but. It's one of them. I was yeah. selling on Sunday over at Bolton. That went all right. I hate, hate it though. Honestly, I'd rather be this side of the table buying. <laughs> it bores me to tears and standing at boot sales, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hard work, isn't it? But I do all right. Yeah, yeah. I'll well, see. You've got to keep your hand in, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> What's your name, by the way? Steve. Steve, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, but I, I watch quite a few <laughs> programs on. <laughs> you chew, yeah. Like I see you. That's it. Well, you get your 15 minutes of fame now, Steve. <laughs> well, yes, of course. I'll nice. come back and see you in a bit anyway. What have you on your bags, pal? If you, if you look them up, pal. Seen them, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a shot, that brother. Bit of a long shot, you don't take car payments, do you? Well, you can transfer it, mate, if you want to. You did a 200 quid for all of them. Yeah, take them, mate, yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I can bloody do it first. <laughs> What's your bike transfer? Yeah, mate, yeah, no problem, yeah. yeah. I should have that now. Yeah, it's in. Just one twenty. Are you chucking that in, see? Yeah. Oh, top man, They're thank all you. Them, yeah, yeah. Feels good, bloody quality, that. I thought, because they were a bit, some of them were marked. Yeah, yeah. No, but that's how they are. You know, you can you can just go like that and it shows that. Oh, is it wax? It's wax. Yeah. Wax deliver, yeah. I knew we should have gone and emptied this bloody trolley. <laughs> I've got 
one, uh, it's like uh, we use it for, as dog as it's leg off. All right, yeah. Um, it's bulldog, so we brought one from a VW show. Yeah. Yeah, they're worth the weight in gold. Yeah, yeah. I think I bought a few before, you know. You might have done that. Did you do it regular? Yeah, yeah. Crack it, I'll get on anyway. All yeah, the best to you, Ross. Well, Cheers, buddy. How you doing, mate? You alright? Alright. Just remind me how much you wanted for those leathers, yeah, Dana. 75. 75. Oh. Obviously, you can make an offer. Yeah, yeah. You can always swear at you. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Where I'm going to bloody put them, I'll never know. How close to 50 can we get? Yeah, go on. We'll be having this conversation for the next bloody two months otherwise. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers mate, thank you. Appreciate it. I'll we'll see you again, all the best. Yeah, see you later. Oh, have you got your barber wax, man? 40. I love it. No, no, I've, I've killed me, budgie. I was just wishful thinking. <laughs> It's been a bag day. Oh yeah. In fact, I've had it's good job bad guy took a bank transfer. They've been embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Don't bother me. a big bit and all. Yeah. To say it's a large. Go on, let's have a look. Yeah, I was thinking that. Huh? I think I'm going to wear it. Yeah, nice no, turning, isn't it? Would you come to 30? God, we're sure a bit bigger. It's nice, isn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah. I'll do 35. I might need to bank transfer, though, if that's all right. Cheers, mate. Thank you, very Thank much. you sir. Cheers, I'll see you some more. Right. Hi. I am most uh, definitely done. Most definitely done. A fantastic result today. Not only did I smash my budget out of the water, I did benefit from a couple of the traders taking bank transfers. I spent rather a lot. In fact, I probably spent more today here than I have done at a boot sale in a very long time. I'm gonna have a quick brew, my mate Peter, and then head home and take you through what I got. So I shall see you in a wee while. I've done something today that I wouldn't recommend and that's buying stuff that you can't evidence out. You can't prove a selling pattern on comps and you can't really have strong evidence for a price either. Sometimes I do rely on my spidey sense and my spidey sense was screaming at me today on one particular group of items that I picked up. That might have been the cold of course and I might have just be a little bit tapped in the head because of it, but it was a seriously impressive haul today. So much so, I absolutely blew my budget out of the water and two of the traders took bank, tra bank transfers as well. So I've spent £260 in cash and an additional £115 in bank transfers. Let's put some meat on the bones as to what I'm bloody talking about anyway. Let's get into it. Whichever way you cut it for a Wednesday, that is a haul and a half. God love Fitzwilliam, long may she reign. I'll start off today with the source of my extreme spidey sense. These bags, they're all from the British Belt Company. Now, these are high-end bags. Uh, they all check out, they're all kosher. Uh, they're very, they feel remarkable quality. Uh, some of them are marked, but even if you go on the British Belt Company website, the ones that are on there are actually marked anyway. That's really how they are. Uh, the reason for that is it's waxed canvas and waxed canvas you just have to look at it and it marks so this, this is how they're sold anyway there was only one slight fail the seven of these uh, five maroon one green and one khaki only one slight fail with them is the khaki one is missing its shoulder strap i mean to be fair it was in hindsight it's such a great deal on the face of it i'm not really too fussed about that anyway i'm still going to sell it but i'm just going to sell it at a reduced cost anyway this is the breakdown the three colours that are of this style, this is the Langdale Satchel. I know it's pretty difficult to tell 
when it's on film, but they are remarkable quality. And there's a few pockets in there, zippy, zippy, zippy. Great looking bag as well. The six Langdale satchels that have got the shoulder strap with them will be getting listed for £70 each. The one that's missing its shoulder strap, I'm gonna list that for £50. Two others by the British Belt Company uh, is the Woodchester Weekender. Again, new with tags. Listing value on those, £50 each. And the chap actually did throw in a freebie. This is a Fly 53 uh, leather satchel. It feels great quality as well, the soft leather satchel. There are zero comps. So there's plenty of comps for Fly 53 clothing, but not a bag. But I think this will picture really, really well. I've sold quite a number of satchels in the past, and leather satchels, particularly our vintage looking ones, they sell very strongly for decent money. I'm gonna hedge my bets on this one though, because there's, I can't evidence it out and put a listing value of 35 pound on it. And for all of those bags, I paid a total of £200. But I can't stress enough, this is really a massively a gut feeling. I would not recommend anybody do that. Essentially, what I'm doing is gambling because I can't evidence it out. So if you're in a similar situation and something's screaming at you that it's brilliant quality, great deal, unless you've convinced your own mind that worst case scenario, you've just lost what you've spent and you're happy with that, then crack on and take the gamble but evidence everything, check comps on everything. I've got a really, really good feeling on these. I will update Instagram as we go. I may have to reduce them over time, but obviously there's plenty of meat on the bones in terms of margin. Even if I do have to reduce them over the time, I'm still very, very confident of a decent return on them. Next up, by far and away, the pickup of the day. I've been tickling this seller for a, a, a the last two or three visits to, to Fitzwilliam as well because they've been uh, on with selling these. I think initially they wanted £70, £80 pound for them last time I visited. I wanted to get as close to 50 quid as humanly possible and we settled on a cost price of £60. Pound. The one thing that's given me more confidence this time is just recently, uh, sorry, the brand on these is Dianese, by the way, D A I N. -A. E -S -E. The reason I've got more confidence with buying this suit this time round is because of very, very recent experience selling this brand. Uh, if you remember from video before last, maybe the last one, I sold a pair of pants within two days of listing them. Uh, I paid I think it was £20 for those pants and they sold for about £95. But this suit is something special. It's probably a little bit smaller than I'd like. Uh, it's a That'll be a Euro size 56, so it'll be a 46 UK. There's something about these, th there's something about this suit. Not only has it got full armour, it's actually got shin armour as well. And uh, the sliders that I mentioned last time that are a really great selling point if you're looking at bike pants. But the listing value I'm going to put on this suit is £250. There's quite a number of comps at that kind of level as well to evidence that out. And specifically this suit, not necessarily this size, but specifically this suit is around about that kind of mark on comps as well. You guys know I love a lamp. I uh, did have to do a bit of bathroom with this chap. I did pay up a bit actually. I'm usually paying a lot less than the £15 that I paid for this particular lamp. It's, it's a great quality vintage lamp though. It needs a new plug but because it's not an insulated plug I would have swapped that out anyway. Going off the conversation that I had in the first instance with the guy I thought this was missing but it's not. The, the screw collar on the top obviously make sure that's present because without it you can't attach a lampshade. Listing value on that, I mean, it's great condition. It needs a wire down. It doesn't need uh, hardly any, anything of a polish. Listing value on that, £50. Rightly so, the lady who was selling this shark cordless vacuum cleaner wasn't budging. I've never seen one of these before. It's a pretty cool looking thing. I mean, for all you geeks out there, it is very Star Wars-esque. <laughs> Paid £20 for that shark handheld and listing value on that, £60. Plenty of evidence for that on comps as well. Now, I don't pick up Heelys at all unless they're brand new. I was a bit too minds about this because they look brand new on the sole and 99% of the surfaces, but there is the odd mark on like that. One surefire giveaway would be the wheels. There's no scuffing whatsoever on the wheels, uh, but there are perhaps a little bit of storage marks. 
they'll probably come off anyway but i think even so worst case scenario I'll, I'll, I'll list those as new other and mention the fact that they've got a couple of storage marks on there's very 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 low value on used heelys new ones though particularly ones that are a bit bigger i mean these are a size five obviously could pass as a, an adult size it seems to go for stronger money if they were absolutely pristine i'd probably be looking at the 30 to 35 pound mark but i'm going to put a listing value on these of 25 pound and i paid six pound for them Roberts Ecologic 4. Roberts DAB radios are good news, particularly the more recent models of which this is one. There is a bit of a defect on it though, just on the end, the tip, the very tip of the aerial is missing. I've extended it fully and it's not bent and all the rest of the bits there is literally just the end. If it wasn't for that, this would have a listing value of about £40. But because of that, I'm going to put a listing value of £28 on it and I paid £8 for it. Always on the lookout for planes because depending on which ones you get, they can be really strong money. These are down the lower end, really. These are th there's two Stanley number no. four planes and a rec record number no. four plane. Stanley obviously a very very well recognised brand, but always be checking comps on vintage tools because they can really surprise you. There's an, a massive market for vintage tools. I paid six pound each for these and the two Stanley planes are gonna have a listing value of 20 pound. And the record plane, I'm gonna put a listing value of 25 pound on it. Paid 10 pound for the, these three pairs of trainers. The first are the Nike AR 2.0. They actually look a lot tattier than they are. They just need a, a bit of a spruce up with uh, a suede brush and uh, perhaps a whitener around the base there. Listing value on those £20. Next are the Nike Blazer Mid. Probably shouldn't have really picked these up. Uh, I have sold Nike Blazer before and they tend to hang around for a little while. The last pair I sold went for about £35, but that may well have been the reason that they were hanging around. So I'm going to put a listing value of £20 on these because they are a bit ropier condition. They might even need a trip through the washing machine. And last of those three pairs are Nike Metcon 7s, women's running trainers. Pretty good condition actually. Those don't, don't need much of a spruce up. Listing value on those 20 25 pound i took a gamble on these I, I, I picked up these joe brown's chelsea boots from the same people i bought the danies uh, motorcycle suit from i paid a fiver for them and these are probably going to be the fail of the day the reason for that is it uh, this melt may well brush out with a suede brush but it does feel a little bit sticky and since i brought them home i've noticed as well there's other bits and pieces on there as well i have no idea what that is it's going to take a little bit of effort to make these right the reason it was more of a fail is if these were samuel windsor if these were lokes grenson so on and so forth it would have been worth that effort but even if i can get all these marks off the listing value is only 20 pound a lot of my a lot of people might think i'm being too fussy there but for me time is the most important element of my business and it's going to take me a bit of time Time to even make these attempts to look good it's unlikely they'll be at 100 either so that might even be an ambitious 20 pound so all of a sudden that 15 pound gross margin it's it reduces a great deal when you're talking about how much your time is worth always loving a barber this is one of the items along with the bags where the, the seller took a bank transfer which is great it actually gives me a bit more confidence if a seller will, will take a bank transfer as well but because it, it just makes me think that the there's a less chance they'll be fly by night the less chance that they're there just to take the pee out of their tax man uh, this is a barber lightweight bow fort uh, obviously you've seen me pick up and sell loads of uh, barber wax jackets in the past for strong money uh, this is more of a, a summer wax jacket paid 35 pound for it but it is in great condition like really good condition plenty of comps for the evidence on the listing value of this as well and that listing value is 75 pound one of the first pickups of the day, this soft shell jacket. This is a BMW Motorrad race team jacket. Again, great condition. It's it feels really chunky as well. It's not it's not a track top. It's definitely a, a soft shell jacket. BMW products, uh, just silly price anyway. It's like. Uh, harley in the usa the, because of the brand they just stick an extra zero on the end of the price this is a 3xl so a decent adult size as well paid 15 pound for it and i put a listing value of 35 pound on that one 
This rugby shirt was an absolute steal. Brand spanking new long sleeve England rugby shirt. Paid just two pound for this. Official merch as well. Listing value on that, 25 pound. Might stretch that to 30 pound actually because the last one I sold went for fairly decent money. And last of the pickups today, really nice pair of Henry Lloyd jeans. I need to check back on the video, but I want to say I paid a fiver for these. And listing value, 25 pound. They're more of a chino than a jean as well, like a lightweight jean. Pretty minty condition anyway. Of course, I'm absolutely over the moon with that result. There's going to be some stuff today that I've probably missed that you spotted though. Not that I would have been able to pick it up anyway because I run out of bloody money. But, but if there is, let me know in the comments below. I don't necessarily know the things you know, so information that you give me via the comments of these videos is great, great knowledge for me and it really is appreciated. Just before you click off this video, do me a big favour, hit that thumbs up. It really really helps the channel until next time you lovely people i've been dave keith you've been amazing see you soon